Hi everyone, my name is Sam. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notification every time I post a new video. Also, please like this video for the YouTube algorithm. This will help me grow this channel. So in this video, we'll be talking about uh, some of the more advanced feature in PowerPoint, uh, including custom animation, the master slide, and interactive presentation. So let's get into the video. So as you can see, I already created a PowerPoint presentation. This is very blunt, and I'll be making it better during this video. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to add some cutout people or maybe animated people here. So you can do that by click on insert and then icon. And here you will see a lot of icons. You can also see cutout people. You can add them to your presentation. Uh, I'll just add this person and then Here we go. Make this a little, and then I'll add some of the icons. So I can add like com a computer or a laptop and uh, something like that. So uh, let's see. Uh, computer. So I'll just add a uh, cloud uh, computer, some coding, uh, this. Uh, I'll just add like a barcode. So you can select multiple things and then uh, you can select multiple things and then insert them all at once. I'll just, uh, let's search for technology and see what comes up. So I'll just add this QR code. Uh, this one looks better. Uh, just add a mouse and then insert. Okay, so I, I inserted six people. So here this, uh, this is a, PowerPoint AI, it will kind of organize that video for you. It will organize the presentation for you. You can use that, click here, and it will kind of uh, organize everything for you. But if you have one of these older version of the PowerPoint, you don't have to do that. So we'll just go back in this video and I'll just kind of organize them myself instead of um, uh, the AI doing it for you. But know that if you have uh, one of those latest version of the PowerPoint, it has the AI that could be used for uh, to organize this and make it look better. So as you can see, I kind of spread them around, but you can make them as, as you like. Uh, here, the PowerPoint AI is also giving me suggestions on how I can do this. So if I, I can click on this, see it is kind of like, it says how tech, and this person is pointing to all the technology related stuff. Uh, this is another one, a very cool uh, thing. So there's a person, it is kind of pointing to all the technology things and here it says how tech. Uh, there are a bunch of other uh, slides and I can use them as a um, as the front or as the uh, cover slide. So I'll just stick to this, stick to this. This looks very cool and nice. Uh, I like everything, but I don't like the how tag. So let's make this a bold, make this bold. So, and we can also make that colorful. So let's change the color to, we can fill this uh, to green. And then the outer line, we can also fill it to green. Yeah, let's do that. So this looks better to me. Uh, if you want to change it or something else, you can do that. You can also change the background color. So right now it is white but I can customize it to yellow. I can uh, customize it to green. I can customize it to whatever I like. So I'll just leave it green for just because. Okay, now I'll move on to the next part. So it says, what kind of videos uh, how, tech, how Tech creates? So here are a couple of, uh, here are a few of the uh, bullet points that I created already. But what I wanna do here is that I wanna add I can add hyperlink to this. So if I want to add a hyperlink, I can do that. But what I want to do is instead of doing them individually, what I want to do is just use the master uh, slide. So all I can do is just go to view and then uh, slide master. So what slide master does is that with the help of slide master, you have to, uh, once you uh, make edits here, it will be applied to everything except the first slide. So that's why we created uh, the uh, cover slide separate because the master slide changes does not apply to the cover slide. Here, so for the style, uh, we can choose any style we like. Uh, for color, we can choose any color we like. Uh, for font, we can choose any font we like. Uh, let's make it a something uh, different. 
let's see something mm, we'll just stick to stick with Arial black for the effects uh, so these are the effects between the slides so whenever uh, one slide is done the next slide when it moves to next slide there will be some sort of effects we can change that or we can do that we'll, we'll just add uh, no effect here and then we'll add effects individually to each slide and then for the uh, for we can also add a, uh, a footer or a title so let's add a, a footer here a footer we can just add like a slide number so this will just give a number to each slide so it will skip the first slide but it will give number to each slide for the footer we can also have like a date so when date was created uh here we can just say that uh, how tech uh, demo presentation so you can write anything here uh, it will this will be applied to each slide in this presentation deck and this slides deck so uh please make sure that whatever you add here it will be shown on each of the slides and uh yes and let's yeah this is it uh for the uh, background slides we can change the background color uh or we can just have like a custom theme here but let's change the color not change the theme because if we change the theme it will just change everything so let's uh, change the color to uh, change the color to since the other one was green we can also make this a light green and then apply to all and then uh, click so here we go so the first one with this one we custom customly created this but here see when we made changes to, uh, during um, our master slide it, it kind of uh, applied to everything okay I'll just add a question mark here and then question mark here okay so now here i want to also add some of the other features so i want to i want to add some animated people here that will kind of appear on animated things that will kind of appear i can also make this animated so uh, the first thing this will be like uh, i click on this and then animation and then uh the way it will appear so this will be applied to only this text so this and for this one, I also want to apply the fly. Uh, for this, I also want to apply the fly. And for this, I also want to apply the fly. So what will happen is that when this slide is shown, these will go each like uh, by number. So it says one, two, three, four. We can also change the number. So if I move, uh, so if I like a uh, if we change the number if we change the arrangement it will appear in the number that they should appear okay and then here we can also add a uh, different like a uh, cartoon character so uh, i can add a person here let's add some cartoon people here so let's see uh cartoon people uh there are a lot of cartoon people available here uh, let me see a one that is kind of more to our liking uh there are also cartoon kids you can apply. Uh, I'll just add this person with a laptop. I'll just add, yeah, let's do that. This person with a laptop, make it a little bigger. As you can see on this here, PowerPoint AI is giving us suggestions on how we can improve this slide. We can just click on here in any of these slides and this will be kind of incorporated into the video. We can definitely do that. Uh, for this, we can also create, uh, have animation for the person that we just added. So here we'll just click on this, click on animation again, and there are a lot of animations available that we can use. So uh, uh, there are it's a wheel animation, so wheel animation. It will let's see. Then this is wheel animation. Uh, there's also a shape animation. Uh, this is there's a split animation there are a lot of them so you can uh, choose either one that you like and also if you do that you can also like a uh, so if you go to home and go to designer so these animation that we applied it will stay there but we can also choose one of the AI, one of the suggestions that AI tool gave us so if I choose this you see that if I actually run this slide uh, if I uh, play the slide, let's do that. So slideshow, you see that it will, so I click next, next, well, click enter, 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 and then here we go, enter. 
So as you can see, so when we create the animation, whenever we uh, click enter, it was going each thing at a time. So if you are creating a PowerPoint presentation where you want to go, well, you want to go over the first step and then you want to go over the second step and you go on a third step so all you want to do is you just want to click on each thing create an animation for that specific sentence or a word and whenever you click enter the next one will kind of appear and things like that okay so that's slide number two i think i'm pretty happy with that there are a lot of other recommendations that i can use uh, I, I can also make make these texts a uh, hyperlink. So if I want to create this in hyperlink, so I, if I'm sending these slides to someone at the end, I can just click on this, uh, click link, and then here I'll just be putting the address or the address to the website uh, here, and then this will become a hyperlink. So whenever the person who is receiving these slides click on this, it will take them to the website or YouTube page or whatever the link you give. You can also here like give uh, links to other PowerPoint presentations. So if you want uh, this to be a reference to something else, or if you have another slide deck that is shared among people, you can uh, use a link here and then um, like uh, choose that, give a path to that as long as it is shared. So the person who wants to click on it, it will just take them there. So mostly if you work in the office, it's possible that you have like a SharePoint page that is being shared among you. So you can give like a SharePoint link here and that will kind of uh, take the person who clicks on it, will take them there. So now the third one uh, is left here. We have suggestions here from the uh, PowerPoint AI. We can choose those if we like, or we can also like add our own things to it. So here, I'll just add some more uh, animation people here. So I'll just go to insert and then icons and then go to cartoon people. So let's go, let's go to cartoon people and see what else we can add. Uh, so there are a lot of options that you can add, uh, but none of them, so some of them are kind of uh, organized based on the category. So you can like uh, do scenes, decoration, accessories, full upper faces, things like that. Also cartoon people, there are stickers uh, uh, that you can add to your presentation. Let's do cutout people. So maybe uh, let's see if there's like a cutout person that is holding something, holding a laptop or something. So here I can also click on this. So if I click on technology, it will kind of show me all the people or all the uh, tech related cutout people. Let's see, there seems to be none. Uh, let's see if there's a cutout person holding a phone or a laptop or something like that. Uh, I'm just searching at the moment to see. Uh, yeah, I'll just use this person. So instead, or use this person. Instead of looking at all of them, I'll just uh, click on that person and there we go. Make that person a little smaller. And then here I can also add, uh, yeah, so here you see the PowerPoint AI is also giving us suggestions. So if I click on this, so look at this, it kind of looks very cool. So this is any recommendations. And then the person is pointing and then you see the little, uh, little line that is kind of pointed toward the recommendations. Uh, there are a few other, where is this? So uh, let's see. This one, the person is pointing toward the suggestions. I think this one looks better. Uh, so I'll just stay with this one. I'll stay with this one. For this, I uh, will go back and see how it is. So let's see what the PowerPoint AI is kind of recommending. I'll just keep this. I think this is better. So it's like a little person just pointing toward uh, everything, all the tech related things. And here we can still we can change this. So if you want, if you don't like the color of this, we can change it to something else. If you don't like the color of the box, that could be changed. So click here, then go to uh, format uh, shape. Uh, mm, uh, let's see, shadow. No, it was it's, it's, it is it's not the format shape. It's uh, let's see what happened. Let's do that. Go back. Let's click on that, make sure it is selected. So it is not giving me the option, but it does. It should uh, let me change that. Let's, okay, so it is. it seems like it is not letting me change this, but the writing can be changed. So if you want to change the writing, uh, 
we can click on that to make this a red, uh, yellow, black, let's see black. Yeah, blacks looks better. So just change this to black. And uh, this can be changed as well. I just have to select it because it's uh, it is just not being selected. Now let's see, click on this now. It is selecting the background, but uh, well, I guess we can just stick with this, that's fine. But it can be like, a, we can select a different design that will let us change the color if we like. So here, if you look at this one, this is uh, even better. You see everything in it that is faded and then you see how tech, a demo, and then this person is pointing toward everything. Uh, Again, this is, so there are a lot of suggestions and you can choose whichever is perfect for you and, which, and whichever, is, whichever works for you. Yeah, I think I'll stick with this. Yeah, let's stick with that. So this is it. So you see, we had a very blunt presentation and we added a lot of different things. If, uh, if we want to add, uh, so let me add an animation to this as well. So let's, uh, let me add animation. I'll just select this, animations, and then I'll, float um, this one I want to also do float float in and then this one I want it to kind of appear so select on the and then uh, let's see bounce so all there so there are a lot of options available uh, let's do uh, shape okay now I'm going to do the presentation to show you how it looks like so right now we have uh, well, it appears from there, so let's do it from the beginning. Click on the first slide, presenting mode, then click. What kind of videos do you like? You see first, chat, GBD tutorial, uh, Excel tips, and then logo design, and then windows uh, and tricks. And then here you see the person that appeared. You can have the person appear before everything, that's fine too. You can have the person appear uh, with, uh, all with any of these, that's fine too. And then go to any recommendation, uh, enter, see anything I'd like me to cover, and then any suggestions. And then here's that person appear. And this is it. So this is it for this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Also, please subscribe if, you sub if you're if you not subscribed already. This will help me for this channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.